Hello and welcome to this English lesson. Today, we will be learning about five words that can be used to show contrast in a sentence. Contrast words are used to show differences between two things or ideas. The words we will be discussing are Although Though Even though In spite of And despite We'll go over each of these words, what they mean, and how to use them in sentences. Let's get started. Although Although is a conjunction that is commonly used to introduce a contrast or an unexpected result. It is usually placed at the beginning of a sentence to show that what follows is in contrast to what was said before. For example, although it was raining, I went for a walk. However, it can also be used in the middle of a sentence to show a contrast between two parts of the same sentence. In this case, they are usually separated by a comma. For example, I went for a walk, although it was raining. Let's take a look at more examples. Although I have a lot of homework, I'm going to the gym. The first part of the sentence, having a lot of homework, suggests that the speaker might not have time to go to the gym. However, the use of although shows that the speaker is still going to the gym despite having a lot of homework. Here's another example. Although she is busy, she always finds time for her friends. The first part of the sentence, being busy, suggests that the person might not have time for friends. However, the use of although shows that the person still makes time for their friends despite being busy. Although I don't like spicy food, I tried chili peppers. It means that even though the speaker typically doesn't enjoy spicy food. However, the speaker decided to try the new food anyway. Though Though is similar in meaning to although. But it is more informal and commonly used in spoken English. Let's take a look at some examples. Though he is a millionaire, he lives a simple life. This sentence shows a contrast between the speaker's expectation of a millionaire's lifestyle and the reality of how he actually lives. She loves dogs, though she's allergic to them. Even though she is allergic to them, she still loves dogs. This sentence shows a contrast between the speaker's love for dogs and her physical reaction to them. Though I've never been to France, I love French cuisine. This sentence shows a contrast between the speaker's lack of personal experience with French culture and their appreciation of French cuisine. Even though Even though is a stronger version of although used to emphasize the contrast between two ideas. For example, Even though I have a lot of homework, I am going to watch a movie tonight. This sentence means that the speaker has a lot of work to do for school or work. But despite that, they still plan to watch a movie tonight. Even though he is very rich, he lives in a small apartment. This means that despite his wealth, he chooses to live in a modest home. In spite of 
In spite of, means regardless of, or not affected by. It can be used in both formal and informal situations. Unlike although, and even though, in spite of, is followed by a noun phrase, or a phrase that functions as a noun, typically formed by adding ing to a verb. Let's take a look at some examples. In spite of the rain, I went for a walk. This means that even though it was raining, the speaker still decided to go for a walk. In spite of feeling tired, she went to the gym. This means that even though the speaker was feeling tired, the speaker still decided to go to the gym. Despite It's important to note that despite and in spite of have the same meaning and can be used interchangeably in most cases. However, despite is more commonly used in everyday spoken English. Let's take a look at some examples. Despite the traffic, we arrived at the airport on time. Here, like in spite of, the noun phrase the traffic follows despite. This means that the speaker encountered traffic on the way to the airport, but still made it on time. Here's another example. Despite her busy schedule, she always makes time for her family. This means that the speaker has a lot of responsibilities. But the speaker prioritizes spending time with her loved ones. Today we've learned about five different phrases we can use to express contrasts. Although, though, even though, in spite of, and despite. Remember that these words are often used interchangeably, but there are slight differences in meaning and usage. That's all for today's lesson. Remember to practice using these words in your own conversations and writing to become more comfortable with them. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next lesson.